Health Center for Parkinson's Disease is a place for people with Parkinson's to come and participate in exercises. We offer boxing exercises, we offer a class where they can do big movements, and we offer a class for vocal exercises right now. It's my passion. People do not have to give into an illness that at one time others saw there was no hope for a cure, no hope for helping, and while there still isn't a cure, I, we can't cure Parkinson's disease. We can do everything we can to slow the progression and get them quality of life so that they can live with this disease. I have watched people that shuffled across the floor pick up their feet and walk wall to wall. Um, I have seen people that could not lift up their arm to punch throw my arm back. Um, it works. It's working. We feel like I'm fighting the disease. I, I, I try to picture the, the program here, the boxing program especially, as the targets are the disease and I, I'm, I'm going to beat it. I'm going to fight it with everything I got and this gives me that opportunity. Once a week we get together and we do um, exercises that involve very large movements and the importance of that to the people that have Parkinson's is that they um, start to recalibrate what they perceive is a normal size movement. People with Parkinson's tend to think that their movements, which are very small, are, are in fact normal size and they're not. So doing exercises that are big makes them makes their brain recalibrate so that they begin to see what is more normal movement. It, it affects me, it affects every one of us differently because some of us have trouble with the uh, spasms in your hands, the shaking. Some of them have trouble walking, speaking. Uh, there's a lot of different things. When I was first diagnosed, I was all bent over and real slow, and I didn't realize that was Parkinson's. I've seen changes just in, in a month or two that this translates into all their activities of daily living, into the way they walk, into the way that they get out of bed. Um, their spouses say they're dressing themselves easier, getting up in the morning easier, and I see a difference in the way that they walk in. Um, and now he's more outgoing. Plus, the coordination on some things, a little bit. This is the vocal program for the Parkinson's Center. And uh, what we do is uh, assist people um, with strengthening their breathing and their vocalizing. The, most people with Parkinson's have problems with the speaking apparatus, which Frank Ogle, Frank and Stacey Ogle more into that, but from from here on, you know, down, uh, we try to work with uh, helping uh, the, you know, helping Parkinson's people regain control of that whole apparatus in here. I got involved in the vocal support for Parkinson's is because my uncle, about 20 years ago, he had difficulty communicating, and they found out he had Parkinson's. And as a speech therapist, I wanted to help him, and helping others is helping him. And we're all in it together to help our Parkinson's patients to make louder sounds, be able to communicate with their family and their loved ones, to have good breast support, and also by singing and communicating, that helps with their swallowing. It's been so interesting to me is how quickly this class has has uh, learned to sing and, and as well as we need to we're not we're not we're trying to produce opera singers but just something to help the people communicate I got a lot of new friends and we're all equal on this stage and Everybody is out to help everybody else. I think one of the things that happens with people with Parkinson's is when they are diagnosed with the disease, it tends to bring on this darkness in their life. They tend to get kind of separated from what they're used to being with, what their world is used to being like. And so again, it's this darkness. And what our hope is, is that the center will have, be a beacon 
for people with Parkinson's and, and turn on the light for them because many times these folks are either because of their physical problems or because of how they feel about their physical issues, they disengage with the world and they don't want to be part of the world because of that or they can't be part of the world. And so our goal is to help people with Parkinson's disease be part of the world and have the best quality of life that they can possibly have. If you have Parkinson's and you're not coming to the Frudenthal Center for Parkinson's Disease, you're missing out. And we want to be here to give you that opportunity to make the best of your life, to make your life actually have high quality. We want to be here to help you through your journey in Parkinson's so that you can do whatever you want to do, whether that be a modified way of doing it or the way that you believe you ought to do it. We want to help you do that. I just thank God that they're there for us and that somebody cares.